Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today's activity is a very simple but really fun one. It is going to be a little surprise pop out drawing. As you can see, I've drawn my little Frankenstein. However, watch what happens whenever I open up the page. <laughs> he starts screaming. If I close it again, he turns back into our normal little friendly Frankenstein. Now, this activity is very easy. All you're going to need for this one is some markers and some white paper. So, if I grab my piece of white paper first, because we won't need our markers just yet, we want to fold our page three times to create four sections. So, to do that there, we're going to fold it over first time, going all the way up to the top, so folding it in half and then increasing. Then we're going to spin it round and do the same thing by folding the top piece all the way to the top, then creasing it, flopping it over, doing the same thing again. So our third crease all the way to the top and then creasing it so that when we open up our page we have four clear sections. Now two of these are going to be the parts we can see all the time. So one's going to be the head, one's going to be the body and the legs and then the two in the middle are going to be whatever's inside our little creation. Now we're going to do a Frankenstein today, but you can do whatever you would like. You can just design your own as long as the lines match up on the inside. So for our Frankenstein, I'm going to bring in a little bit of card first of all, just to keep my table clean. For our Frankenstein, we're going to start with our hair along the top. Also to keep the inside of the card clean, I'm going to put a little bit of scrap card inside. Just because I'm using a Sharpie today as it shows up best on the camera. Now to start off our Frankenstein design, what we want to do is we want to draw two C shapes along the top. So there's one C shape, then there is another one, as if it's two even brackets along the top of the page. This is going to be the edge of both of our hair, uh, the sides of our hair. So to connect them, we want to do lots of triangles. Keeping the edges either straight, like I just did, or I like to do lots of different curved ones. And you can go whatever way you would like with this, because our hair, as you know, goes all different directions, especially if it's a monster hair. All the way along, until we reach the final C. And as you can see, we've got our crazy hairline. Then we want to connect the top, and for the top, we're just going to go along, but two thirds of the way, so just over halfway. Then we want to do a little flick in there and then finish off back to our edge. And this is our little hairline for our Frankenstein. For the head, it is like a box but has curved corners. So we're going to go straight down on our page to the center on both sides. But along the bottom, we want to curve in a little bit and then go straight and then curve up to match the other side. The body is the exact same shape, just smaller. So we're going to go down here and up. The legs are going to go below the body and there are going to be two of them shapes. So one meeting in the middle for a little triangle. There's our two legs, two big feet, then we want to do some arms and our arms come down like a little semicircle but we don't need to go all the way, and then we just bring them in and the same way on the other side, bring that in and then we want to put some hands in, the same shape, a little semicircle to start with but connecting into his legs as if his hands are just at his side or in his pocket and adding two lines for his thumbs. So this is the rough shape of our body. We just want to add some details in now. So we're going to do a curvy line along the top of his head, which is going to be where his head has been cut open because he's a crazy monster. And stitched back together, we could see his brains in there. We want to do a little line on his shirt with two little buttons 
and a pocket square on the other side. What you want to do is mouth, and for his mouth, because when we open it up, there's going to be a big mouth, when we open it up on the inside, we're just going to do a nice straight line along the crease of our paper. We're also going to add two big eyes in here. And a wee small nose. The final thing we need to do, I'm going to add a little wrinkle on his chin. And little pupils into his eyes. So two smaller circles. And then when I open it up. We can see we have a big gap in the middle. Now what makes these work, and if I just fix that line for the top of his mouth. Whatever shape you do, it doesn't matter. As long as when you open this up, that you connect the lines from the top and the bottom. You can do this curvy, you could do whatever shape you want, as long as it stays within the two sections. But for our little Frankenstein today, I'm just going to go with two straight lines. For each side of his head. And the same for connecting his mouth. And there we go. Now when we close this. It looks like our little small friendly Frankenstein. Then we open it up. Ah, very good. Hopefully you're at this point so far. Now you can change this at any time you want to. So you can put whatever you would like to in the centre of his mouth. I'm going to put some teeth and his tongue. So for his teeth, we're going to go each of the sections. We're going to go about halfway up each one. With a line across. Then we're going to draw nearly all the way down on both sides. Top and bottom. Then we're going to connect them lines along the bottom to give us a top set of teeth and our bottom set of teeth. However, right now only has one tooth on each side, so we're going to divide this up into lots of little teeth. You can put as many teeth as you want in because it is a monster after all. There's the bottom done. I can finish the top. And there's my two sets of teeth on each side. Then what we're going to want is a nice big U shape on the bottom half with an M on top of it. To, for, to create his tongue. And to finish off his tongue, we'll just put a big L here. Now, when he opens up his mouth, there's going to be a big dark area in the middle, and we're going to put his little console in at the back. So, you want to draw in that little shape, and then connect to create the darkness in, in the back. Don't worry, I made a wee mistake there, but you'll see in a second. I'm going to do some colouring in which can hide that little shape. So this was making it slightly bigger there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward it so you can pause while you colour yours in. But I'm going to fast forward and in a second you'll see this will be completely coloured in. And we're nearly finished here, just getting to the final bit, the last piece, and we are done. So you can see our final coloured in little uh, Frankenstein. Now if I move this away, you'll be able to see. It is completely finished of him opening the screen, and when I close this over, you can see he looks nice and friendly. Hope oh, if I open it a little bit, it just shows some of his teeth and he doesn't look too happy. 
This is him starting to get angry. And then when I open it completely, I like that, I didn't think about that there. Just made a wee mistake there when I seen his wee teeth opening. Just a wee bit on that bear. And then he goes, Rah. And that is our final Frankenstein done. Now, what you can do is you can cut it out as well, just to make it look a little bit different, look a bit more of a surprise. But whenever you're folding it over, you are going to have to, if you fold it over just normally, you'll see the top of his head sticking out. So you will have to lift back his head and fold this wee bit in. So the final one can look like this as well. So when you open it up, rah, and then closing it down. Open it up and closing it. So, best of luck everybody. Keep on crafting. If you need any more ideas, just head over to the rest of our channel, subscribe, and we'll see you back for our next art activity.